Hello everybody, welcome to episode 1 of the Tamagotchi Afterlife. So this wonderful series will be going over the wonderful Devil Gachi and the wonderful Angel Gachi. So yes, I actually have both packages here, so while we get on to that, let's look at the Angel Gachi first. So here's the Angel Gachi's packaging. Very simple, nice little blue background. It shows the them going into the whole angel process or whatever. Very much mimics, or not mimics, is pretty much the older 90s design. This was like before a lot of the designs are finalized for a lot of the Tamagotchis. So, <laughs> pretty much the only art was the pixel art. Like, look at, uh, I think it's Mimichi right there, or Mimichi. But as you see, they're very blocky and stuff like that. This is like very much before they sit down and settled on everything. Look at, like, Gucci Pachi's design there. You can very much tell, I think that's Gucci Pachi. <laughs> But you can very much tell this was like one of the earlier Tamagotchis. So it's always really cool to look at this one. You have the cool little professor characters. I forgot the actual names of them, but uh, I do remember them. A different color of Tamagotchi on the back there. Or for the Angel Gachi. The Angel Gachi came out in a few colors. I only have one of the other colors on me currently. We have a cool little white one here. This was a fun gift from my girlfriend, like, years ago. This is, like, a Christmas gift or whatever. I think it was a Christmas or birthday gift. I don't know. This was the original color I really wanted at the time, and she was super nice enough to get it for me, so it's still in super nice condition, and it's still, like, one of my favorite gifts. <laughs> also, I don't know. It's just one of my favorite gifts I have. <laughs> Love the Angel Gachis. They're, like, one of my favorite designs for the whole entire series. And here's the original one I bought. Got a pink one for myself. I'm going to use a pink one for this series, mostly just to contrast it from the Devil Gachi over here, which is purple and white, so I didn't want two whites on there, so I thought pink would contrast better. There was a blue coloring, that's what the back shows right there, and we'll get on to opening this up real quickly. So first off, this, these do fold out or whatever, pretty cool. You also get a nice little instruction manual inside there, pretty nice, I always love showing these off. I love looking at all the original arts for the original art for the little older Tamagotchi stuff. Sits so there and explains how to play the virtual pet very nicely. And very cool. And if anyone's asking for scans for these, uh, I do not have a scanner, but I can take nice pictures for you. So if you need any pictures or anything from me, uh, just ask and I can sit there and explain it to you. But pretty cool stuff. Uh, love looking through all that. Love looking at all the original art and stuff like that. You get more of that cool little old school Tamagotchi art. You got a nice little old school Angel Gachi. I love looking at the art. Sorry. I didn't fold this up properly either, so I'm like, ooh. Okay, there we go. I don't know if I... We'll fold that up properly later. For right now, we'll put this to the side plop out the angel and there's our pink angel there very nice got the silver wings and everything did love the design changes to each of the models that's really cool backgrounds are the same but overall pretty cool just backgrounds and colors are our colors are different just overall the designs very pretty similar but overall that's pretty cool with that one we move that one to the side currently put it on the ground because why not? And now let's look at the Devil Gachi as of the year. This is, you can clearly tell, when the designs were much more finalized. Look at that. Got a much more finalized design of the original angel there. It's not as, like, prototype as the original. Finally got more of the official designs for uh, mainstay Tamagotchis as well. So it is really cool. You even got the references to the older ones. So it's kind of a mix between that really early style and the modern style. Which is really cool. I do love that little mix of styles there. Gets more into the back there. Explains more of the cool little Tamagotchi stuff. You got another different color of the Devil Gachi right there. Sadly, I do not have multiple Devil Gachis because these things are rare. But let's look into more of the art style here. And it's cool. We got the cool little Tamagotchi there and a whole gateway. Got a little text there. More text there. And let's open it up. And we even got an instruction manual for the Devil Gotcha. So, there's our first little thing right there. And let's open this bad boy up. So, overall, pretty nice looking. A lot more of the art. Not as 
like as many little miniature drawings and stuff like that. It is explaining timed events to us right there, I'm guessing. Which is pretty cool that they give out little info uh, information right there for that. And ooh, 6.30 a.m. I'm going to miss out on that one a few times, aren't I? That's good for me, I guess. And they got more little cool Tamagotchi stuff. Overall, not too, too bad. Man's going to be paying the butt trying to get used to all that, then. I was looking at the time thing, so this will be my first official run on the device. So there's our little phone numbers there. Don't know if any of those numbers still work. Uh, if anyone in Japan wants to give me give those a try, please tell me how those work currently. Uh, shows off more of the instructions. <laughs> Tells you how to do the instructions and fold them back up. That's pretty funny to me. And then more of the random stuff there. Shows the on-off. How to do the whole chain mechanism. And you got that cool little art right there. Which, ooh, I love that. I love the look of that so much. Just, ah, uh, it's so cool seeing all this stuff. So we're going to fold this back up. Gently, because I don't want to mess this up at all. There we go. <laughs> I'll do that with the Angel Gachi one later, but uh, I do want to take a lot more care of this one. Because, ooh, this one was a such a rarity. For those who don't know, the Devil Gachi is a lot more of a rarer device than the wonderful Angel. <laughs> the American version of the Angel is actually pretty uncommon, but the Japanese version is actually one of the more common of devices. So that's pretty cool. And you got the wonderful little Devil Gachi here. Pretty cool looking design. You can very much compare it to the Angel. You can see a lot of the similarities and stuff like that. Got little bat wings instead of little bird wings. Or angel wings and devil wings, I guess. I don't know. Word devil got you right on the top. And then the word angel got you right there. Being pretty cool. And then the back, which is pretty much bare bones. It probably had a sticker on the back originally, but who knows what happened to that. This was bought used, so I'm not going to complain. They kept it in overall pretty decent condition, so... I am not going to complain at all. Look at that background. It's so cool as well. And ew, it looks like we got some bit of ink damage on the side. That's not cool. I did not notice that. Oh no. And there's no battery inside, so that's good. Hopefully, that won't be too much of a... Actually, is that ink damage? That might just be something else. It's very weird. I don't know what that is. Yeah, because it's slightly reflective in there. Okay, that's kind of weird. But there we go. Not, not too bad. This will so sit down and slap some batteries in it. Don't know. I don't know if I should worry about that ink thing. It doesn't look like an ink thing, though. I don't know what that is. Let's sit there and shake this real quickly. I don't know. But overall, it seems pretty cool. Overall design. Okay, so let's get on to slapping batteries on these finally, because y'all probably done hearing me talk and stuff like that about these wonderful Tamaguchis. Try to remember where I put the batteries on. Like, ooh. Okay, grab some of the batteries. And let's sit down. And take this out. I'm gonna sit down and do this a bit closer to me, real quickly. I love when you do it closer and nothing happens. I'm like, ooh. No. Do I need to grab a different screwdriver set? I probably do. I'm like, ooh, where's my different screws and stuff like that? Okay, gonna pause real quickly because I apparently don't have the right screwdriver on me. I thought this was the right one. Okay, we are back. I went and grabbed the proper screwdriver, so this will be pretty fun here now. There we go. Pretty much simple. 
you want to watch out with some of these older Tamagotchi screws because a lot of them do strip easily and break down. I've actually had replaced some a bunch of them before the fact, so I do know how that works. So sadly, we do have a little bit of a damaged screen on there. I can fix that later, which is fine. Just kind of say it about that. That's not too much of a worry. As long as it doesn't affect our screen during this run. Because that's pretty much the main thing we're trying to keep up with. And I said, ooh, come on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just want me to put it down that way, okay. We do use LR44s on these. And ooh, there we go. So let's sit down. Yeah, let's sit down tightly on these screws real quickly. Boop 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 ba doop boop ba doop boop 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 ba doop. Okay, there's one in there. Oh, there's our cool devil gachi character. Not too bad. So, he's not going to probably do much yet, because we have to sit down with him. Okay. So there's our cool little devil character. Not too bad. Everything's looking pretty good so far. So pretty much the only thing I need to do is replace that screen later on. Uh, this one actually does have replaced screws and not the Angel Gachi. Because I did this like years ago. Because when I bought this from the original seller, the... It was already like slightly... They are like, oh wait, actually I stripped the screws and I had to sit down and fix them up. This is like the fun of old Tamagotchi screws is... You have to sit there be overly careful with them. There is another set down though. Set down and plop these bad boys in. There we go. And you can hear the slight beeps there. You see the battery thing is slightly damaged too, so ooh. So let's sit down and plop these in real quickly. I have nice magnetic screwdrivers. I'm like, ew, we could easily sit down and plop these in. So, I do need at least this one to plop on in nicely. Uh, come on. And there we go, got our Angel Gachi. There you go, there's a nice little animation for that one. So you got the little tombstone and the little spirit there. Pretty cool, not too bad. Both these are looking pretty nice. So let's start up the Angel Gachi. And currently we'll just place them both at nine. And there we go. The Angel Gachi's all nice and set up. And now we have to kind of just wait for it to go into its next form, as you know, it has to find its way or whatever. So, pretty cool start there. And now let's get to the Devil Gachi side here, which starts off with a bat on this one. So, get this all. It is much more louder than the Angel, that is for sure. Yeah, 
And ooh, that's some weird lag right there. You just like processing something? No, that's just surprisingly laggy there. Oh wow. That is quite shocking. Yeah, especially when going from this side over here, because you can see, blam, speed, and then this one's just whoosh, slow lag over. Very interesting. That's a very interesting way of designing that. But that's pretty cool. So I guess we're going to have to sit down. I'm going to probably pause the video one more time because this whole evolution experience does take a little bit to actually happen so it's uh, pretty much like the older style of hatching out of eggs you had to wait quite a bit for them to actually kind of hatch it's one of the nice little fun experiences of the older devices so we'll be right on back in just a second Okay, we are back, and there we go. We have finally got our nice little hatching process down, and there is our first. So there's our first little devil character on this devil gachi here. So pretty cool overall. Got a little weird little symbol right there. There's our icons, I'm guessing. Our little DP thing. So I guess let's sit down and get some food. do this for quite a bit a few times. Pretty easy to sit down and go through all this. And what's this mini game here? Let's see. Oh, we're trying to force it to do something? Nope, what's going on here? That was weird. Don't know what those are about, but uh, I guess he's gonna try doing his weird little things. Did I like lower the D Oh yeah, it does. It lowers the uh, DP. I'm guessing that's supposed to represent like devil points or something. That's very interesting. And this one is still going on its side here, so. Okay, making sure. So overall, not too bad with this guy. Don't know how this mini game works. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I have to get inside his mouth. Okay, that's pretty cool. And the angel got you finally hatched, and there's our little angel spirit. Look at him, he's looking pretty cool himself. So, overall, not too bad. This is more of the basic Tamagotchi experience here. Pretty cool. I'm gonna start off by giving him some stuff here, so let's feed him up. Get him little bowls of soup or something like that, I don't know. And then here we go, start playing this little mini game. The only bad part about the mini game on this one is it. Oh. The minigame does lag a bit, so we gotta watch out for that. That is like one of the bad parts of this. Let's see if we can actually do this properly now. I had to remember to start doing this properly again. Because I'm like, ah, oh, I forgot about button lag on this device. Ah. It is a very weird device. That's like the only bad part about it. <laughs> you only have to win three times, though. That's pretty much it is. It's like the original uh, D 
Digimon type thing where you had to kind of you had to win three out of the five so far. Not too bad. You can also sit down and do a little treat thing for it. Now during these treat processes, it can get attacked by a little bat creature. So you want to watch out for that. I'm trying to give him two for right now. This is the, are the earlier stages, so you have to kind of watch out for that. But overall, not too bad. So I guess we'll sit down and explain the icons on the Angel Gachi at least. So the Angel Gachi is a lot more like original Tamagotchis in a way. That's the reason why I could easily sit down and explain it. So we got the wonderful little status icon right there. Got a, which tells us all of our stats pretty much. Weight, age, and like the angel points. Which the angel points are pretty much like the discipline meter in the old, older devices. Got a nice little... Uh, food icon right there which allows you to pick from food and snacks we've seen it before pretty cool top one's food bottom one's snacks that one's the game right there and then this is the poop cleaning icon allows you to clean off your little thing it's uh, symbolized by a rubber duck you got the discipline thing this is when it decides to, it wants to act out so you sit there and be like no you can't do that and it'll be like oh okay medicine when it gets sick Lights for when it wants to go to bed, and then that last one is a hair icon, so when it screams at us, we can sit there and take care of, uh, take care of it. So, on the devil side of things, we still got pretty much a lot of the similar ideas. We got the still status icon right there. We got our wonderful little food icon, the mini game right there. A little butt with wings, which I think is just the cleanup screen right there. So, yep, it is. Uh, got our little discipline thing right there, which is it symbolized by an angel this time, which is pretty cool. We got a weird little hand thing here. I don't know what that represents. The hand might be a discipline thing itself as well. We got a little candle there, which is supposed to represent the lights. Pretty cool. And then that last one is still a callout icon. So we got our same little callouts here. And I think this pretty much ends, uh, ends for the first episode of today. We went, uh, started it up, talked about the Angel Gachi and the Devil Gachi independently of each other. And this will be the nice little start of the Tamagotchi Afterlife series. And I'm excited to run the Devil Gachi. Pretty cool. And that ink blob right there will be fine for this series. I've had multiple V-Pets that have the same sort of experiences here. It just means a little bit of the screen got damaged at one point. If it spreads, then I'll have to take it apart and fix it, which is a pretty easy fix by itself. So, it's nothing to worry about. It's just kind of sad to see that right there. But overall, not too bad, because it doesn't affect like the background artwork and stuff like that. And these screens are super replaceable, because they were kind of used on multiple Tamagotchi types at the time. So, it's not that shocking. This is what happens when you drop them and stuff like that a few times. So, be careful of your Tamagotchis. Be careful so you don't break them. But uh, that's pretty much it for this wonderful little episode here. So, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye bye bye.